Hello, my name is Moss. I am making a small Arduino startup course here on my YouTube channel Lockmaker360. And so far I made videos about how to write a sketch on the software side. And on the hardware side I made videos about libraries, about digital and the analog input and output pins. And in this video I like to talk about the memory. On most Arduino board we have three different kinds of memory. Flash, RAM and EEPROM. And in this video we talk about the Arduino Uno. But be aware that every Arduino board has its own memory specification. The flash memory is 32 kilobytes big. And if you compile your sketch and you upload it to the Arduino. Then you save the sketch inside the flash memory. As you can see over here, I just uploaded a empty sketch to the Arduino and over here you can see that the sketch uses 450 bytes and there is a maximum of 32,000 bytes, like you can see over here. The RAM memory has only uh, 2 kilobytes and if we are running the sketch then there is a constant update of the content of the variable. For example, if we make a integer and we call it loop and we set the value to zero and we update the value, then this update is done inside the RAM memory. And RAM memory is volatile and that means that if we turn the power off, then we are losing the value. So if we are uh, running the sketch and after a while a loop has for example the value of 25 and we turn the power off and we turn the power on again, then loop will be zero again and we lost the value of 25. And if you upload a sketch then down here you can see how much uh, RAM memory you have left. And in this case I have an empty sketch. I get the full value of uh, 2 kilobyte left. So it's, it's important to understand that if we run a sketch and we turn the power off and we restart the Arduino and we re restart uh, the program from the flash memory but we have lost the old value because the old values were inside the RAM memory and the RAM memory is erased. To uh, secure your content on a safe place, you can write the data inside EEPROM memory and on an Arduino Uno we only have a 512 bytes of EEPROM memory and EEPROM has no issues with uh, power on or off or resetting. If we save a value inside the uh, EEPROM, then it will be there for a long time. In uh, this video I like to show you how to write values inside the EEPROM memory. The default EEPROM library, which is pre-installed inside your Arduino EDA, can only write one byte at a time, so we can store a value between 0 and 256 and writing a byte to the memory is very easy. Here we set up uh, the byte and we give it a value of uh, 54 and over here we subtract 4 so we end up with a value of 50 and up here we call an instance of EEPROM and then we call the function write and inside the function write we have two parameters. The first one is the address and the second one is the value. So the value is the value up here and the address is a address value between uh, 0 and 511. I uploaded the sketch to the Arduino and now inside memory address 0 is the value of 50. And to read this back, I have to write another sketch. I uh, include the EEPROM library again and set up a byte and give it a value of 54. I also set up uh, an integer with address which points to address 0. 
Inside the setup, I set up the serial monitor. And instead of writing, this time I call the function read. And the only parameter I have to place in there is the address. So make sure that's the same address as in the previous sketch. And what I do is I print the value before we call the read function and the value after calling the read function. And as you can see in the serial monitor, before was 54 and after was 50. Oh, but uh, the problem with the default library is that we only can write values between uh, 0 and 256 only bytes. But uh, somebody else wrote a library called EPROMX. And if we install this library, and with the uh, EPROMX library, we have uh, access to uh, reading and writing all the basic types. Like strings, arrays, ints, long. And this uh, library is written by a guy named Thijs Ellenbos. And I will put a link to his website uh, in the description of this video. Because it's really a, a very good library. And it works almost the same as uh, the default library. Only you have to write byte or write int. And the same is... If you read them back, you have to place read and then the data type, like over here, read double. It's a very handy library. I got uh, one example over here. I'm writing an uh, integer with the value of 1000. And inside the setup, we write it. And later on, we read it back. And as you can see here in the serial monitor, the, it's written to address 1 and the value of 1000. Uh, this is the end of the video. Uh, please leave a comment if it was helpful. I like to read uh, the comments. In the next video about the Arduino fundamentals, I will talk about uh, the one wire protocol, which is a, a bus protocol to connect sensors to the Arduino. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Logmic360. And thanks for watching.